Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name is Laura Dada, and uh, I'm doing three different residencies for my project. How long do you study here, Laura? Uh, two years. And you graduate soon? Yes, in a year, hopefully. What school you plan to transfer? Cal Poly Pomona. Uh, you think you will confident to apply there? Yes, definitely. Okay. Any school besides that, or just one only? Um, San Luis Obispo, probably UCLA. Okay, so I recommend you guys, um, even you like one school, but you apply three of them. Three of them, just the main one, and three backup, that means totally six. Because you're not sure which one can be accepted that year. Three of them with the number one, number two, number three. That means the one you like best, the second one, and the three is just, you know, not really like, compared with number one. And three, backup, for make sure that if they cannot get that, you can study temporary in the backup before you transfer again. Okay, go ahead. Pointer or? Just not going. <laughs> hey! Oh, there it is. Okay. That is what? <laughs> so this is the bubble diagram for the senior house. So right here would be the entrance. So this is the front yard always. This would be the grass area, a fence. This would be the garage entrance of course the garage and the storage as well for the older people. As you enter to the left, you will see a veranda. That's like a little porch area for, um, that's connected to the dining room and the dining room, dining room to the living room. Uh, right next to it, you will find the master bedroom, a walk-in closet, and it's the master bathroom. Uh, going back to the living room, to the right, you will find the kitchen along with the laundry room. And then you will have an exit right here to the deck. You will find another bedroom on the side, uh, just in case if they want some privacy. It, w it will have its own bathroom. Right next to it is going to be the garden, <coughs> more of the garden right here, and a meditation room right at the corner. Hold on. I, this one, I think that's one thing I need to tell you, that the dining and the kitchen should be close together. For example, you cook something, it's so hot. For example, Asian people, they like to do something like soup hot one. If you go so far like that, the surface is a little bit hard. So try the best next time if you had a chain to design, try garage, kitchen, dining, clothes. <laughs> Just look at the window. Oh. Can you go there, open the window? No, it's work. Close. So you can stay there. Yeah. The family house for four people. So you have the entrance right here. Um, the, as you enter towards the right, it shows on the left, but it's towards the right when you enter. It's going to be the dining room, the kitchen right next to it, the living room. To the other side, you will find the stairs with the storage uh, area, like a small room. Next to it, there's a guest room with its bathroom, a laundry room, and then another bathroom with a bedroom in front of it. This is going to be the backyard exit. You will find a pool, um, the rest of the backyard over here, and then a barbecue area. Then you go back to the stairs right here, you will find the second floor. Um, the master bedroom on this side with this closet, with the, uh, the bathroom. And it's going to be a square closet on the side. so it. Um, you have some space between the master bedroom and the office, so they're not right next to each other. So the office is a little bit more quiet. Um, on the other side, you're gonna, you're gonna have another bedroom on this side with the bathroom, and another bathroom that will share the same bedroom, with, that will share the same bathroom. <laughs> and there's the balcony right there. So I chose the young couple house to do the elevations and the floor plan. These are two pictures that I found. I wanted to make it like a dome, circular building. Uh, you can see the stairs right in the middle. This one was kind of like the one I, I tried to do as in the bubble diagram. And this shows two stairs. Okay, this is the first floor right here. Uh, this is the entrance. You will see the spiral stairs right in the middle. On the left, you're gonna see the living room with the dining room and the kitchen, all of them lined up. This 
going to be an exit access to the backyard through the kitchen because there's going to be a bar right there. So it's easier to access through the kitchen if you have to leave. You're going to have another entrance right here for the deck right here. Uh, this is going to be the backyard with a pool and a guest room right here. Uh, through the deck you can also enter from the garage. Uh, when you go upstairs you will find the master bedroom on your left with a balcony. It will have a bathroom right here. On the other side you'll find another bedroom with a bathroom. Uh, like This is just a simple area. I was, I was thinking of like glass windows uh, from top to bottom so you can see the backyard right here. And there's going to be a, a, a big office right there. The first floor, this, is, this would be the entrance. To the left you'll find the living room and the dining room. They'll be open to each other, so it's, it looks bigger as well. Has its windows. Uh, to this side, you'll find the kitchen. That's the exit I was talking about to the backyard. Um, these are the stairs. This is the guest bedroom at the bottom with its bathroom. This is a small entrance from the garage that would be right here. And that's the, ex the exit to the backyard. The deck. When you go upstairs, you'll find the master bedroom with this uh, balcony the bathroom right here another bathroom right next to this one but this one's going to be for this bedroom the office and the open area i was talking to you about that's it okay a few more questions for you exactly this is the second one i mean the second time you study with me right yes so give me something about um what you think about the way i'm teaching i think you're a good teacher personally <laughs> Um, I like how you give so you give us space to do what we want at the end of uh, the class through presentations. Like for this one, you gave you let us uh, choose what we wanted. So I, I wanted to do the young couples house. I was able to do that. Um, I like your class. <laughs> <laughs> so if I have opened the new class, I mean many different kind from the architecture class. Are you feel happy? Or you feel yeah. will be interesting to register again with me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good professor. Um, and for me, the scale from one to ten, tell me the honor, the truth. How much you can read in for me? Uh, I would say nine. Nine. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing with us. You're welcome. <laughs>